Put your hands together, please, for putting them together. Clap your fucking hands for your first comic, Zachary Hunt. Keep it going for now. So you guys, there's a protected group that I'm really about fucking done with. In fact, I'd go as far as to say we should round them all up and kill them. Before you overreact, let me clarify. I'm talking about geese. Because you know it's illegal to kill a geese. Goose geese. There's never a single goose, it's fucking geese. <laughs> they roll like gangs. Like, you see them everywhere. And they're always topping off like gang. Ah, ah. And like, I honk back. I don't care how psychotic I look when I do it. Like, you're not gonna do that to me without getting the back. But it's like, they received the right to not be killed before women ever received the right to vote. Before any minority ever got their rights, or gay people got their rights. So I think as a community, we should all just get behind and fucking kill all the geese. It's the most expensive meat. Like, it's more expensive than beef, chicken, and poultry. They shit everywhere. Like, you, you have to pick up your dog shit 20 feet away from like a checkerboard of green slime shit all over the place that they might get to. They might not. We'll see. Sorry, I just put the bed off my chest. Since we're speaking about dead animals, like I ran over a squirrel the other day, and like it, I didn't do it intentionally. Like I almost wrecked my car to not hit a squirrel. Because one, I feel that shit, and like it just does something beside me. Like, I love animals. Can't say the same about humans. Like if I ran over a human, I'd probably enjoy that a little more than the squirrel. Like I'm <laughs> sorry about it. like, but a squirrel, I'll pull over and have a vigil. But it got me thinking. Like you see some of the dead animals on the side of the road, and they all look the same. Usually split open, just flattened out. But there is one animal that looks cool as shit no matter how he dies. Or her. A raccoon. Like every time I see a raccoon, when you leave here, try this. Because they're all going to be posed the same way. Every raccoon looks like a puzzled Italian or New Yorker. There's like, hey! Be on the side staring up. Like, I'm serious. You drive by one, they look like they're just stunned that they died. Everybody else just accepts it. The raccoon's like, forget about it. Like, Let's see, what else we say? Oh, yeah. So I found out the other day, like, I quit playing football and pretty much all sports around freshman year of high school. And I thought it was just because I got really fucking fat and like playing Halo. But then my mom kind of like let me in. She's like, well, no, there was that one game you hit that kid so bad that like they had to carry him out on a stretcher. I was like, what the fuck was this? Like, she's like, oh, it was like the last game you played. I'm like, that's probably some shit that I, you know, could help this drug addiction we've had for 20 years. Like all this anxiety we get in confrontation. Maybe it's because I'm out radioing somebody while playing football. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, like she keeps that shit suppressed. And I'm like, this is kind of weird because when I, get, I don't really get in fights. I'm very pacifist. Like I've been a correctional officer, so I'm not really afraid of shit. But it's like, I just don't want to go through the hassle. And I did security at Helium. I had to body slam somebody outside of a Brad Williams show, but like even that guy didn't want to punch me. And I'm like, dude, you probably quit if you hit me. <laughs> like, hands down, I know I look like a Siberian, like KSGB agent or some shit, like, pussy. Pussy, pussy. That's all I am. I'm just like pussy in a rough facade. But it's like, if they attack me, I wonder if I'd have like that kind of like work holes. Like, you know how Hulk, when he gets mad, he gets big and green? Like, I think it would be the opposite for me. Like, if somebody steps to me, I'm like, don't do it, man. You won't like me when I'm angry. He's like, well, I'd like to see what happens. And I'm just like, ah! And they just turn back to fortune on me, like, stop it, man! Like, and I'll end on this. Like, we all know about that, like, archetype of the racist father and the bigoted father. It's like, my daughter ain't gonna date no black guy. But I'll be damned if my son's gonna be gay. He still exists. Like, he's a minority, though. But, like, I think for the most part, that archetype's evolved with something else. Like getting more and be like, say a father and son are hanging out and the son's like, Dad, there's something I really need to tell you. He's like, go ahead, son. He's like, I don't know, like, something big, like I don't really feel like I can tell you. He's like, buddy, you can tell me anything, it's okay. He's like, all right, uh, so Dad, I, I think I'm pansexual. You stay the fuck out of the goddamn kitchen. Because <laughs> he thinks he's gonna fuck the pain. All right, thank you. That's my time.
Thanks, Thanks.